This short video will show you how to calculate the mean, median, and the use of named ranges in Google Sheets. Okay, let's get started. So here I have the Colorado snowfall data. I have the total column here, and that's what I'd like to calculate the average of and the median of. I'm going to do this using named ranges. So to specify a named range, I select data and select named ranges. In the upper right hand corner of your sheet, you'll select add a range. I need to give that named range a name. So I'll call that total snowfall amounts. And then I also need to specify which cells are going to be included in that named range. So there I just simply identify the cells that I would like included. So I'm going to start by highlighting cells 0, 2, because that's the first data value. And then I need to go clear down here to the end to the last data value, which is down here in cell 0, 181. The information that precedes those cells is the name of the sheet. So this sheet happens to be called data. So the reference here is data, exclamation point, and then the cells 02 through 0181. Okay, now that we have that specified, simply say done. Now I can go back to my sheet and use those named ranges. So let me zoom in here a little bit. So now if I want to calculate the mean or the average, what I do is simply equal average. So average is a function. And then I can just use that named range that I specified, which was total snowfall amount. I can just click that, put the parentheses at the end, and that'll calculate that average of all of those cells for me, which is 64.70. To calculate the median, I'm going to do something similar. Just type equal. Median is the name of that function. And again, specify that named range that includes those total snowfall amounts. You can do this without the use of named ranges. So I could just highlight the cells that I want to be included in that function. So for example, equal median. And then I could come and highlight cells 02 through 0181 again. And you will get the same result. However, if you're going to do various summaries, I find it easier to just give that specific set of cells a named range. And then you don't have to be constantly highlighting those cells. So you can see here that it gives you the same result if I'm using the actual cells or if I'm using the named ranges. I'll just show you that quick, that those two give you exactly the same result. Okay, that does it for this video. Thank you.